uh, look at some applications of uh, vector. Now, this is an example. We have a body of mass, uh, say 5 kg, and it is inclined to the vertical plane uh, with a force of, let's say, 5 newton and drew a distance of, say, 10 meters. Now, what is the work done? Find the work done. In this kind of question, how are we going to find the work done? Work done actually, of course, we are still going to talk about work done, but we just want to use this example as an application of the vectors. Work done is force times distance. Now, what is the force? The force we are talking about here is not, is not the 5 newton force. It is actually the force along the x axis. So we can say this is F sub x. So now, what is F sub x? That would be now. Let's say this is a um, 50 degree. F sub x will be since this is inclined to the vertical to the horizontal. That would be 5 cos 50 degree. Now, what is 5 cos 50 degree? If we look at 5 cos 50 degree. That is um, 5 uh, cos 50. That is 3.2139. 3.2139 newton. So that is the force that we are going to use. That is. Um, force along the horizontal axis, horizontal component of resultant. So now the work done now is what? Is uh, force which is 3.2139 times uh, distance which is um, 40 meter. So that's, that is 40, that is um, 128.55 uh, newton, 56 newton. So that is our work done for the first example. Now let's look at another example again. All right. Uh, let's say we have something like this. You have a force of five newton here. You have a force of seven newton here. And uh, we are told to find the resultant force. Now what do you think will be the resultant force? The resultant force is resultant force RF will be the 7 newton force minus the 5 newton force, which is 2 newton. In what direction? In the direction of the 7 newton force. And the 7 newton force is actually if this is a plus y minus y and minus x plus x. The 17, 7 newton force is in what? In the minus y axis direction. Now let's take a look at another question which is the last question for this series. Let's see uh, you have this, you have a mass of 20 kg. Let's say you have 10 newton force, you have 40 newton force and you, uh, and you are told to find the acceleration here. How do we do that? We know that force is mass times acceleration now, what force are we going to look at? The force we are going to look is uh, the force we are going to use is the 40 minus 10. What is 40 minus 10? That's um, um, 30 newton force. In the direction of the 40 newton force, this is this the greater force of the two. So now our force now, uh, our accel so our force is mass times acceleration, and our force now is 30 newton. Our mass is 20 times acceleration a. So the Bible side by 20 by 20 then a is 30 over 20 which is um, 3 over 2 and what is 3 over 2 that is um, 1.5 meters per second square thank you